Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be walking you through LeafLink inventory management. By managing your product inventory on LeafLink, you will be able to create a menu that is discoverable and shoppable by retailers, as well as having the ability to create manual orders on their behalf using that inventory. Benefits to managing inventory via LeafLink include showcasing your inventory to customers with photos, product details, and testing results, ensuring accuracy when creating manual orders for customers, and highlighting new products in the marketplace with a new tag for 30 days after adding them. Before you create your inventory, it's important to think about how you'd like to set up your menu for shoppers so that it's easy for them to navigate. There are three key levels of a menu that you can use to organize your menu. Product lines, which is the highest level and represents a product category or grouping. Products, this is at the mid-level and represents an individual product or strain. And varieties, at the lowest level, varieties are sub-products or types of an individual product. Most menus on LeafLink have product lines and all have products. Varieties depend on the type and sizing of the products you carry. Be sure to label varieties specifically. In LeafLink reports, the variety is reported as a single line item. Varieties with non-specific names are more difficult to track in reporting. Once you have decided on your menu setup strategy, you can create your product lines. To add a product line, click Inventory on the LeafLink navigation panel. Then follow these steps. Click on the Product Lines tab in the horizontal navigation bar. Select the associated brand for the new product line. If you only operate one brand, this brand will be the default selection. Name the new product line and save by clicking Create Product Line. The product line will now appear in existing brands and product lines on this page. It will also be available as an option when adding products. Once you have created your product lines and product templates, you'll begin creating your individual products. You can start this by selecting the Add New Product button on the top right corner of the page. To create a product, you will enter in the details necessary for this product to be displayed on your menu, defining the brand, product line, name, if it has varieties, and the associated license. From here, you will enter in additional details such as product specifications, how inventory should be tracked, a product description, and images. When adding new products to your menu, you can toggle back and forth between inventory and preview menu to see how your changes will appear to retailers. Sellers with multiple brand menus have the option to enable the vendor menu feature, which aggregates all of their brand menus into one larger menu with a single URL. This allows buyers to easily shop and add products across all your brands to their shopping cart without ever having to leave the page. If managing your inventory on LeafLink, it's important to keep your inventory quantity up to date. To restock your inventory, click Inventory in the LeafLink navigation panel. Then follow these steps. Identify the product that needs to be updated. In the restock box, enter the total inventory count you'd like to set for the product. Once entered, that will update the inventory for those items on your menu. Managing inventory via LeafLink enables you to customize your offerings across customers, creating a more personalized experience for your clients. Firstly, the listings page allows you to reserve quantities of products for specific customers or groups of customers. This is especially useful if you'd like to reserve your most exclusive inventory for a certain tier of buyer and prevent others from purchasing for the time being. This ensures that stock quantities are allocated to certain buyers in advance and that you don't run the risk of making that inventory available for purchase to other buyers on the LeafLink marketplace. Similarly, if you have exclusive arrangements with a dispensary franchise who has multiple storefronts, you can control the flow of your goods to each store and effectively manage how much each store is going to get at the point of purchase. This is also helpful if you're in a market that is struggling from inventory shortages and where lead times are unknown. You want to make sure that customers who place their orders first get access to your products so they can stock their shelves as soon as that inventory becomes available. To do this, you can assign a customer to a product and reserve certain quantities. Navigate to Inventory and then Listings. 
The listings overview page will display a list of all of your products automatically. By default, all available products will be visible to all eligible buyers from your menu. If there are no customers assigned to a specific product, the customers field will convey zero allocations. To assign customers to a specific product, click on the pencil icon underneath the actions column. If you do not want to reserve specific quantities of inventory, but you want your product to only be available to certain buyers, toggle exclusive product, add allocation, and add the applicable buyers customer groups. This will ensure any buyers outside of this list will not see or be able to purchase the product on your LeafLink menu. As a reminder, you can create customer groups to organize your customers, then apply them to listings rather than applying customers one by one. You can create a group in LeafLink by navigating to the Customers tab in the left side menu, and then Groups, and Create Group. If you wish to reserve specific quantities of inventory for your customers, you would untoggle exclusive product and allocate certain quantities to each customer or group of customers. The remaining inventory amount will be available to purchase more broadly on the LeafLink Marketplace. Hit Save to update your changes. If you'd like to set the exclusivity for a set period, or you'd like to open the product if the buyers assigned to your product do not purchase all of your inventory right away, you can set up a listing to change its status automatically after a set period of time. The options to update your listing are as follows. Set to public, remove all customers. This option will remove any customers assigned to your product and allow it to be sold to any eligible buyer on the LeafLink marketplace. Set to internal. This option will mark your product as internal, meaning it can only be added to seller generated order and is not visible on your public menu. Set to unavailable. This option will mark your product as unavailable, meaning it will be visible on your menu, but not purchasable by anyone. In the same modal, select an expiration type and expiration date. The next level of customization happens via our custom menus tool. Custom menus allow you to offer special pricing for individual customers or specific segments of your clients. This can include creating pricing tiers or specialized menus for individual dispensaries. The main benefit of this tool is to allow for relationship-based pricing to be available by default to certain buyers, allowing for a more seamless experience for your customers. To get started, navigate to the pricing section on the left side menu of your LeafLink account and then toggle over to the Custom Menus tab. Once on the Custom Menus tab, click the blue Create Custom Menu button and a new page will populate. First, you'll want to name your custom menu and input a brief description. By default, the custom menu status will be set to active. If you're not ready for the custom menu to be accessible by customers yet, you can set it to inactive for now and flip it back to active when it makes sense for your brand. Click Edit Customers and check the box next to each customer that you want to be able to access this custom menu, then save. Once this custom menu is live, these customers will see a different price than other buyers who view your public menu. Use the filter feature to quickly find the exact product or products you're looking for. Select the products from your inventory list that you would like incorporated into the custom menu by checking the box next to each relevant line item. From here, you can change the pricing on each individual line item by editing the value in the price column. Alternatively, you have the option to click the Bulk Actions button, which will allow you to apply or remove a standard discount across all the SKUs you selected in the previous step. Before clicking Save in the top right corner, you can review all the customers, SKUs, and special pricing that you've applied. The discounted pricing will apply to both retailers who have access to these SKUs as well as for internal purposes. When retailers create orders, they will see their unique pricing. And when you create an order for your retailer who has an active custom menu, the preferred pricing will be the default pricing listed on that order. In order to manage your inventory across multiple facilities, we have launched a specific functionality to enable this process. The facility inventory feature empowers distributors and multi-state operators to create one retail menu that is fulfilled from its multiple warehouse facilities. Inventory can be assigned to a specific facility and referenced during order creation. The facility inventory feature enables inventory assigned by facility 
so that sellers can track inventory across multiple locations and their customers can access all inventory that is available to purchase within a single work stream. Facility creation occurs inside of seller settings in the facility management section. Press the add button in the top right corner of the screen to add a facility. Here, you will enter in their details and press the save button when done. Editing a facility also occurs in the facility management section. Find the facility in the list of facilities, press the pencil icon in the actions column. Edit the details that you need to change and press save when done. After a facility is created, inventory quantities at the facility are specified on the inventory tab in LeafLink's main navigation menu. On that screen, tap on inventory in the horizontal navigation menu. The full list of product inventory will be displayed on the screen. To the left of each product name is an arrow. Tap that arrow to unfurl the list of facilities where a product could be stored. To reallocate a product to another location, type in the quantity of inventory available in the facilities available field. Edits will auto save. A notification pop-up in the upper right corner of the screen will confirm that changes were saved. If the list of inventory is quite large and you need help finding specific products, press the filter button to search for products by brand, product line, category, or their associated license type. To create an order with the inventory from a certain facility, visit the Orders tab. Tap the Create Order button in the top right-hand corner. Next, select the customer in the CRM field. Select the facility the inventory will be sourced from in the pull-down menu. Proceed to create the order as usual. LeafLink's inventory management tools empower sellers to manage one product listing with multiple batches. You can keep track of how much of each batch you have in stock and where the inventory is located to make your inventory management more precise. To start the process, visit the Inventory tab in the main navigation menu and select Batch Management. From here, tap the Create Batch button in the top right-hand corner. Enter the batch number, date, and test results. Select the associated products you would like to be tied to that batch. Upload the COA in the document section and give it a label in the description field and press the save button. This batch will now appear in your inventory as an active batch. To set the quantity for a batch and its location, you can go to the inventory tab in the main menu. Tap inventory in the horizontal menu and view the list of products in your inventory here. In the actions column, tap the edit icon. A modal will pop onto the screen where you can toggle the track inventory by batch to enable tracking. Set the batch's location by tapping on the pull down menu. Enter the quantity of batch inventory for each SKU in the quantity field and tap the save button. Tap the arrow next to the product to see that product's batches. To designate which batch should be used to fulfill an order, you can go to the Orders tab in the main navigation menu. Once here, you will tap the Create Order button in the top right-hand corner. After selecting the customer from the pull-down menu, you can add a product to the order. In the Select Batch pull-down menu that appears, select the batch to use for that order. Add the quantity and tap the Add to Order button. From here, you can send the order to the buyer for review or press the submit button to complete the task. Thank you very much, and we hope you've enjoyed the video.